Alright, welcome back for another little introduction to the variables video. This time what we're going to take a look at as a good use of the if statement is limiting how high or how low a value can get. For instance, right now I have these apple items here. And when I run the program, you'll see that if I eat the apples, my life goes up. I'm all the way to 175. A lot of programs or games have things where there's a limit, like I don't want the life to go above 100. Okay, 100 should be the maximum, the ceiling of that variable. Sometimes uh, you lose value, and you don't want that value to go below zero. So here's an example of limiting the life to a certain value. We use the if statements for this again, and it can be this easy. When the player hits the apple, Right now I give them 25 life, play sound, destroy the apple. What you can do is you can just sneak a little check in here. And the little check is right after you add 25, we can do a quick check to see if we've gone above our ceiling of 100. So I can ask again another condition. If life is greater or equal to 100, do the following code. And the following code give you a second to guess what it's going to be. And there you go. Just directly set that life to exactly 100. Okay, so if you think about it, if you ended up at 115, poof, you're set right back to life equals 100. Okay, so we have a ceiling on the variable again. Don't type this code in, but if you had a value that was dropping, you could go if life is less than or equal to 0, life equals 0. Never actually let it get below 0, right? so you don't get weird numbers being drawn on the screen. So those are two typical limiting factors for variables. You'll see this in like a car racing game, the car's speeding up, there has to be a limit to how fast it can go. So if it crosses the limit, you put it back to the limit. Okay, this is one way to do it. All right, a quick test of this. So we lost a bit of life, you'll notice. I should have been over 100, but now I'm just stuck at 100. Perfect. Okay, so it works nicely. Thanks for watching this video. Of course, there's going to be a, another few intro to variable examples coming up.